Hey, what's happening, guys? This is Tito back with another video, and today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Cardinal OS P5.2, which is based on Android 8.1 on Redmi Note 3. And I did a previous video on this ROM, which was based on 8.0. I'll leave a card if you want to check it out, and let's make it happen. So first we have to go to these websites to download the ROM and other files. Now click here on the download official build source forge link. Now download the latest build from here. Now as you can see from here TWRP 3.1.1/1 is minimum requirements but I will recommend you flashing this ROM with latest TWRP 3.2.1/0. Now from here you have to download the G apps and choose ARM64. I have downloaded the micro G apps package by the way. All the important links for this ROM will be listed in the description box below so do not worry. Keep in mind that to flash this ROM you have to have officially unlocked bootloader. You have backed up everything on your phone and TWRP recovery installed and do it on your own risk. By the way, this guy Pranav Mehta, who is one of my subscribers, requested this video, so shout out to him. Very cool guy. Okay, let's come back to the point now. As you can see, I am on Lineage right now, which is based on Android Nougat. So now let's boot into TWRP Recovery. As I have TWRP 3.0.2/2, so let's try flashing the ROM with it. Before installing, make sure you wipe cache, Dalvik cache, system and data. And I faced error 7 as expected. So now let me flash the latest tutorial recovery. To do that, locate the folder, then tap on install image on the bottom right corner. Now select the recovery file you want to install. Now flash it as recovery. Once done, switch off the phone. You might see this no OS installed pop up. This is coming because I just wiped the system and everything else. If you wipe later, this won't come and that's fine too. Now boot into recovery by pressing the volume up and the power button together. Here you can see I have successfully booted into TWRP 3.2.1/0 and as I have wiped everything earlier I am not doing that again. So let's hit install and select the ROM and GApps file and swipe to confirm flash and wait for the time being. Once done, hit reboot system. Now you might see this screen which says install TWRP app. If you wanna do that, you can swipe to confirm. But I am not gonna do that, so I hit do not install. Now wait for the system to boot up. It will take 5 to 10 minutes for the first boot. So as we are booted into the system, let me set up everything. Now let's stop what's working here. Camera, mobile data, Wi-Fi, torch, IR blaster, Google Assistant, FPC pickup and scanner is working fine for me. And I think Codex pickup and scanner is working too. VOLT is working even on the second SIM slot. So no worries. I have not found one bug in this ROM except the picture in picture feature. That still doesn't work. And I think that's not even a bug. It's just a feature which is not working. Okay, so now let's check out the stock launcher. These are the stock apps this ROM comes preloaded with, except UC browser and YouTube. They are there because I am restoring my app data backup. Let me install my favorite pixel launcher now.
You can see from here we can double press the lock button to launch camera but I am not gonna do that because my power button is almost broken. Here is the about section. As you can see the ROM is based on the latest and greatest Android 8.1 audio. Ok now let's go back and see what are the features this ROM comes with. In the top side of the settings menu you will find a settings called the wings. I will go through them one by one if you are into that. Double tap to sleep is there. Here is a demo of that. I don't like heads up notifications so I will just disable it. Here is a network traffic option but I use the internet speed meter app so I am not gonna enable it. Here is the software navigation buttons which looks great as pixel 2 but I want more screen real estate so I will disable it too. And here is the clear all button in recent apps panel. Here is a quick demo of Geo 4G Vault E working. So now the app data backup is restored. And we have pre installed Snapdragon camera app here. So let's take some pictures with it quickly to get you an idea. This picture has taken without HDR. And this picture has taken with HDR. And we have a pretty nice gallery app here. And what else? Tap to hold, notification dots, everything is working fine here. And I am using teardrop icon shape in Pixel Launcher. Here we have an equalizer for audio, of course. And this is a substratum theme, so substratum is working fine in this ROM, but I do not use that, so I am just guessing. Here we have the awesome looking VOLT logo on the status bar. If you look close enough, you will see that the quick settings panel is actually a little transparent and Wi-Fi, torch, etc. These icons are rounded on the edges which were sharper before as far as I remember. And the toggle animations are amazing. Like you see that? This is why I love stock Android or custom ROMs which are based on stock Android. And as far as battery life goes, I can't talk about that right now because it's too early for me. I might post about it after a day or two in Twitter so do follow me there. So to be honest with you all, this ROM is pretty much a daily driver as far as my experience of flashing custom ROMs goes. So definitely try this one out if you are a nerd like me. So huge thanks to the developer of this great ROM, here is a thumbs up from me. 
so that wraps up this video guys hope you have enjoyed it if you did please feel free to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to the channel right here if you want to see more contents like this and support my work this is Tito from Carry and Tech signing off. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye now.